Hi everybody, hello, hello. Um, just popped on today before the situation gets out of hand. Um, you might remember that we are making ephemera for our Timmy box that we made. But this one, this was the one that I made uh, on the live for Elizabeth Crafts and it's black and white. Everything about it is black and white. And it's a really pretty box, but it needs filling up with ephemera. So rather than crack on with all the Timmy stuff, I thought I would um, kind of copy, if you like, my own thing so far, but in the black and white theme. I've no idea how long this video is going to be. I'm not that highly prepared for it. <laughs> so it could be uh, quite long. Anyway, I have used as my base a piece of white card and that measures three and a half by six. And this is the Timmy piece that we're going to look at sort of copying, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I might need to pop up and down because I don't think I've got everything gathered that I need. Um, but anyway, so first thing to do is prepare the base of the tag and for that I want to use some inks um, and I just want to find my little messy map but I don't know where it is so I'll get the big one out and I also want which I think is in here I told you I was, oh, I'm really not prepared for this. Ah! And that's hickory smoke and that's lost shadow. And they're both in inks. And <clears throat> I think it was Fiona Flowerdew that asked if I would do a video on the different types of inks, archival versus fine, versus fine clair, distress, distress oxide. And, <coughs> excuse me, and yeah, I know, they can be really confusing. Once you get the hang of them, it's, it's easy, but um, I'm more than happy to do a video showing showing that. I think the question I get asked most is, what's the difference between ink and oxide? So in that video, I'll uh, attempt to show you what the difference is. Right, so here's my card, ready cut out. And I'm going to start with the Lost Shadow. And that might I might finish at the Lost Shadow. We'll see. So I'm just going to smoosh that down onto there. A little, little bit of water just to get that activated a bit. And then I'm just going to pouncey, pouncey. Dippy dotty see what we've got yeah I think that's going to be fine actually don't think I need that much more than that it's amazing isn't it lost shadow looks so so gray it's so so pale there but when you put it onto white oh it's just a beautiful color yeah I'm happy with that a little bit there perhaps lovely that's great don't need any more than that, I don't think. Okay, let's clear that off then. So I hope you're all doing well today. The sunshine's deserted us today. It's um, it's raining. Well, it's not, no, showering, let's say. It's not continual rain, but mm, it's not a, not a good day. It's very cloudy and overcast and just not a good day. Good day for crafting, without a doubt. So, right. So I just need to dry this off. What else do I need to do? I think that's all I need to do at this stage is just dry that off. So I'll dry that and I'll be back to you. Okie okay, cookie, that's nice and dry now. Um, so maybe the first thing to do is stamp out this. And uh, here are the stamps here. This is a set by Elizabeth Craft Designs. I think it's called Measurements. 
I don't know because this is how I got mine um, without any packaging at all and that's the stamp that I want to use but it's it's worth just having a look at these I mean they're absolutely gorgeous look at all that oh they are they're so useful I'm glad that Esther came up with these because they're they're really lovely Oh, I'll have to get them on a board of some sort soon because the there we go and some white paper have I got such a thing I've got some here is that long enough few just yet yeah, okay and get away with that let's get my stamping blow blowed no i might use my no use my stamping board a spongy background thing whatever it is and i'm going to use my timmy ruler as the stamp block there we go so right let's ink that up i'm going to use versafine claire <laughs> if I knew where it was, I would use VersaFine Claire. I've already had it this morning. Here it is. It's on its side. So give them a good ink. They are slightly distressed, these numbers, so um, that's how I'd expect them to come out. So I'm just going to try and get that straight along there. And you can flex these as well, you know, so you can get a bit of pressure down on them. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm happy with that. No, I don't think I am. Um, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I think sometimes you have to leave these just for, you know, a minute on the page. So let that ink transfer. I'm a bit guilty of removing things too quickly. So let's line these up again if I can. Like that, okay. Give them a good press down. And some time to transfer that ink from the stamp into the paper. That's perfect. That's great. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's wipe these off. Lovely. And I'm going to put it away because if I don't, some calamity will happen. Oh my goodness, it's formed a good, good bond on there. They are very clingy, Elizabeth Craft Design stamps. They certainly are cling. Right, so I just want to chop that out. Looks straight along there to me. I just want, um, oh, it's decorated my board as well. How nice, how lovely. So I want to be able to leave a similar margin up here to the one that I've got along here. <laughs> Let's try that. I think about there. Does that look right? Hard to tell. Maybe just a fraction more. Yeah, happy with that. That's great. That's just fine. Um, okay. So, 
I am using ink on this project to ink around things. So I probably need to ink around there, I would say. And this is just marginally too long. So let's just turn that over to that side there. Oh, I can't do it that way. I don't know what I was trying to do even. <laughs> let's just get that right on the bottom. So I can see where I need to trim it. Wow, it's half a half a nothing this. There we go, that's fine. Now then on this one. I have stitched around there and I quite like that idea. Just down the two sides and then later I'll stitch around the whole tag. Yeah, I, li I like that idea. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So I'll be back in a sec once I've stitched that. I told you this would be an uppy downy one. Ah, forgot to say I need to ink it first. I need to ink it. Now I've got one of my little tiny, tiny blenders out this morning. I wonder where that went. Oh, my desk is such a mess. Ah, there it is. And I used black on it this morning, so that's fine. They are small, these. I don't know if I expected them to be this small. I'm delighted because the only small things like this I've got are the finger dabbers, you know, the ones that fit in your fingers. And they can sort of hurt after a while. So this is just perfect. I'm very pleased. I see an order of some more sponges in my life. Right, so that's that. So... Yeah, I'm just going to sew down both sides. Question is, <clears throat> I'm making this black and white, but I also want some red in it. So I could sew those in red. That might be quite nice. I'll go and have a look, see if I can find my red thread. If I can, I'll do them in red. If I can't, they'll be in black. Well, <clears throat> that turned out to be a real trauma because I, ha I did have a red bobbin wound, but... I couldn't get it into the machine. I, was, I just couldn't work it out. But it was wound the wrong way. Instead of being like that, it was like that. So I couldn't get it through the tension discs. Oh, dear me. Anyway, uh, the situation's been rectified. So that is going to go there. But before I stick that down, I want to do some stamping along here. So I'm just going to draw quite a faint line along there so that's gonna go there yes 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 and so faint I can't see it and a faint line up here like that that's fine so in this section I'm going to do some stenciling same as I did here but down here I've got room for some stamps which I didn't put on this one, but you know, maybe I should. Arguably, I should. So I've got my very handy correspondence from the past one stamps out. And let's just find some long ones that's going to go down this side. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's a nice long one, long and thin, just what's needed. Is that upside down? No. Right way around. Excellent. So I'm just going to bring that in from the top because I'm going to uh, you know, corner it as you do for um, tags. So let's pop that. Come on. Registered letter is another nice little one. 
but in a different font. So that can go there. That's probably all the stamping we need down there. That's great. It just takes the plainness off it, doesn't it? So let's put that away. And put the lid on the egg. Right, so stenciling. Mm -hmm. I have washed my stencil because I thought I didn't want that brown ink coming off onto it. Um, but it looks like it's stained, which is fine. That's not a problem. I just didn't want the brown ink to come off. Because I want it to be black and white. So let's just pop that under there. Uh, now, it doesn't matter if I spread this way because our, our numbers are going to go down there. Um, and I want to leave a space at the bottom, which I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. But anyway, I'll muse on that. I'll muse on that a while. I don't need to be that far over, though. Well, that's a bit excessive. I don't need to be that far down. So let's just get that kind of straight on the edge. And I'm just going to use my black. And I've looked at a new brush for the occasion. It's black. So hopefully I'll know in future that this is for blacks. I probably will use the same one for inks and oxides though. Right, let's get cracking with this then. with it being a new brush it's not I need to persuade it to pick up the, uh, the ink which will get there coupled with the fact that that ink is not in its first flush of youth to be honest. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to get some mint tape out and just put that along the bottom where I want this to end, which is about there probably. Great. I think that's fine. Let's have a look and see. oh yeah, look at that. That's lovely. So well done brush. You'll get better when you get older, I know. So I need to work out what I'm gonna put on there. Now I did think um that I could use one of Timmy's new collage papers or a piece of it anyway. Um Oh, I don't know which one to use. Mm, these are all so lovely and pretty. But these are lovely but gritty. <laughs> Let's have a look at these ones. See if we can find anything that tickles our fancy. I did tell you I wasn't sorted for this video. So really sorry if you don't like rambly videos. You'll be hating this one. In fact, you probably turned off already, so it doesn't matter, does it? Come on, let me get you out. Oh my goodness me. Why? That's the question. Well, I've never known a cellophane bag be this blinking strong ever, ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. At long last. Right, so there's that one. 
which is very nice. I like that one a lot. Uh, this one, which is the uh, eclectic elements. Wow, it would be much better if it was straight, but ah, that might be the fella for us. I like that. Yep, I do. I like that a lot. <coughs> Once again, I don't think that's completely straight across the top, which would drive me slightly bonkers, so I'll straighten that up. And I just need to cut it down there and there probably just so I've got a little bit of leeway. Ooh, I like these. I can see me ordering more of these. You could stamp, but this is just a different texture, isn't it? It's just something, something different on the tag. I mean, you wouldn't want to be doing this sort of thing on every tag. It'd take you forever. But um, on the odd, odd one or two special ones. And in a project such as this, where they're all going in that box, each one's got to earn its keep, really. Come on. Oh, these are going to be awkward. Well, just be awkward if that's what makes you happy. Just do it. Right, I'm going to have to tidy that top up because it's not straight. Oh, it did cut it. I was a bit worried the guillotine wouldn't cut it because it's so thin, that paper. But it did, so we're all right. Now I could probably get away with sticking that down with glue stick, you know. Which would make life a little easier. Yeah, let's do that then. Now somebody asked the other day in the comments which glue stick I use. And I use this one. It's Elmer's, but it's not the school glue. It's the extra strength uh, Elmer's. And it comes out purple, which is sometimes a bit of a curse, but... It does let you know that you've got your, your glue down there, so uh, it has its uses. But it is really strong, and the person that put me onto that was Julie from Camellia Crafts. And honestly, I mean, I, I kind of believe everything Julie says. If she says something's good, then rest assured it's good. So, do you think I can get it on the back of there? Am I chancing my arm a bit? No, I think it'll go on. Just going to turn that around. Seems like I can only glue in one direction today. There we are, I think that's all right. Let's just get this on here. Something like straight. It's always useful. There we go. Perfect. And you can see bits of that purple coming through where the glue is, but don't worry about that. That will disappear when it's dry. And then I can just trim around there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's trim that off before it gets stuck to something it shouldn't and gets torn. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? I thought I was going to have to get the mixed meat, the matte gel out there. Okay, that's lovely. Happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I'd be happier if it came off my finger, which it did. Right, there we go. Our tag is coming to life. And now I want to stick this down. So I'm going to use uh, Collal just in case I have to shuffle it around. I don't think I will but I never think I will until it's not on straight and then I do. So I'm seeing some beautiful projects on the Facebook page. Really really nice. Um, honestly guys 
with the talent you lot have got, I don't know why you watch me. Right, so let's get that lined up. Get the threads out with that little pencil line that we drew ages ago. That's it there. Oh, all the techniques that it's had thrown at it, it looks really nice. Do you think? I think. Oh, it's too low down. Slide up. Oh, it's on the move now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that's it. Great. Ah, oh, you wouldn't think so many things could worry you during making a tag, would you? It's, it's not normal. It's just a tiny little bit here that's sticking out. It's teeny tiny. That's it. There we go. Happy. Right, let's put the corners in. The tag corners. And Yeah, so I must say, I really like those little tiny ink blenders, I think they're called. Very useful for getting sort of on the inside of um, uh, what we're talking about. Does anybody even know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, the tiny black blenders. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, like when you're doing frames, you know, getting in the inside of frames and things, which is what I was using it for this morning. So there we are, that's that. So it just needs to be sewn around. And I'm going to use the red again for that. So I'll see you when I've... Oh, hang on. Do I need to back this? Not really. It's got that on it, a little bit of ink, but I think basically we're okay. But what I do need to do is ink around it. So there's a bit of prem there, a little bit prem. I don't often use black soot um, as a colour, but there really is no alternative with this one. It's got to be black, black or nothing. And you could get away with nothing, with no ink. You'd end up with a much cleaner looking project. But you guys know I like my ink. I like that, the way the stencil came out. came out great. So there we are. That's it. So maybe just a little bit on the back. If your tag's dirty, just cover it with a piece of paper glue a piece of paper to it and uh, then stitch around it but if you're not stitching you don't have to you could do full stitching if you wanted there we are that's fine that's great right now I'm off to sew around it bye right so there we are that's that sewn around um it looks it looks smart you probably can't really see it but it does look quite nice so the next thing to do, according to this, is a photograph. So I'm going to use Kerry's photographs that she kindly put up on our group. Honestly, Kerry, thank you so much. There's loads of them, different size ones, etc., etc. I like these ones. Is that going to be the right size? Well, one way to find out, isn't there? And I quite like this little guy. Uh -huh. I don't know, I like them all. How do you decide? How do you decide? That's a puzzle, isn't it? Um, no, I'm going to go for him. I like him. So let's cut him out.
Sorry I go quiet when I cut, but you guys know it takes all of my concentration to cut not straight lines. <laughs> There we go. And he is going to go there. Yeah, I could have done with a bigger one, I think, maybe. But I quite like him. Right, let's go with him. He's been selected. I'm just going to go over those white edges. Like that. And he's sewn around on the Timmy one. Do I want to sew around him? You know, I think I need a bigger photo. So I'll go and look these out and print one out. Be back soon. Right. <laughs> I've supersized him. Yeah, he's gone large with gusto. That's the original one, and this is this one. So I want him to sit about there. And he is quite large, but I like him. It's kind of all about him, so that's fine. So what I want to do now then is sew around him. Oh my goodness, this is one tag. See you soon. So there we are. It's a good job I warned you this was going to be long and rambling. Um, so he just needs stuck down there. That's all he needs. So let's do that. Can you imagine if every single tag that you did took you this long? Oh, I'd drive myself crazy. I'd drive myself crazy anyway. And I still haven't finished sorting my craft room out. Dear, oh dear. See if I can get another day of that in this week. That would be good. Right, so where do we want him? About there. I'm going to use the lines on this to square him up with. Yeah, okay. Like that. Like that a lot. Where's my Timmy towel? Oh, there's a load of stuff just gone on the floor. <laughs> Who knows what stuff? Not me. There we go. Right. Thank you, Kerry. These are brilliant. So for anyone who's wondering, when you print these ones out, they are at 58%. But if you go into that and change it to 100, this is the size you get. So you might want to go somewhere in between. I don't know. I quite like that. Um, I, th I think it's perfect. But just to let you know in case you're scratching your head wondering how that happened. Right. So now what I need is a little bit of fabric, which I thought I had. Oh, my goodness me. Fabric. Fabric. Where are you? Ah, here it is. Thank you for coming to the whistle. Right, so this is Timmy fabric and it's black and white. Um, and I just need a little bit. Where I've put this sort of burlap here, I just want a little bit here, but I don't want it this wide. No, I don't want it that wide. So let's see how wide I do want it. About that wide, possibly. Uh, oh, can't tear that. Cannot tear that. There we go. That's great. And that will be enough, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> this is an exhausting procedure, isn't it, eh? Never mind. Hopefully it'll look nice when we've finished. 
Right, so there we are. I'm just going to turn that over there at the top, I think, and I'm just going to attach that to there. But before I do, I'm going to put some rather fancy embroidery on it. Um, I'm kind of laughing here because there's nothing fancy about this embroidery. I want it to look rustic. So I'm just using embroidery floss, this stuff. I bought a load of cheap stuff off eBay because um, it's all that's needed. And I'm going to see if I can put a knot in this. I'm useless at tight at putting knots in the ends of threads. Don't know why, but I just am. So live with it. I don't mean you've got to live with it. I mean, I've got to live with it. Some people can do this with one hand. How on earth can you do that with one hand? Anyway, somehow I've managed to get a knot in that, so that'll do. So let's just come up here. Go down there. I'm just going to do this fancy cross stitch that I don't want to look even. don't want it to look like I was trying to be good when I'm not. Ow. Needles have points on, my dear. Yeah, I know. So just a little bit of stitchery. And hand embroidery is not my strong suit, but even if it was, I wouldn't want these to look great. I want them to look, yeah, not great. Oh, I keep stabbing myself with the needle. That's looking all right to me. Uh, one more, possibly. I think we've got room just about for one more. Getting the ends of the frayed bit in there, now, which I don't want. near the edge isn't it? Near the knuckle? Right let's have a look what's that look like? Perfect exactly what I wanted my goodness look how tidy the back is. Whoo! Let's just thread that thread up there I don't know what I'm doing here as you can probably tell and then just go through that again and then through that loop. I think that'll tie that off. I mean, nothing. what's going to happen to it? Nothing. Take that bit off there. Right, I think that's okay. So I want to stick that there. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? I don't need that long end on there, it's going to stick out and annoy me. Yeah, so that's going there and, and I like that. That looks nice. Pleased with that. So let's put some glue on here. Put some on the big knots. very fiddly and fadagly this. Fadagly, I've just invented a word. Uh, this tag, but that's okay. Oh, glue. I've got so much glue on there. It's ridiculous. that'll stick when it dries. Right, so the next thing I want are some buttons and 
I want them in red and white and maybe black if I had some. <coughs> so, um, I've got that one. And I've got this one that's white with a black border, which I particularly like. Maybe that would look better the other way. That one there. That one there, perhaps. Maybe room for one more at the bottom here, actually. Possibly. Don't know. I like those there anyway, so let's do that. Let's hope that this needle is going to go through these because I want them to look like they're stitched. They're not, oh yeah, look at that, no problem. Um, stitched onto the card. They're not going to be. They're just going to have this through it and then glued on. But it does give the impression that they're stitched on. So just double knot there. <laughs> oh, well, fingers and thumbs. Fingers and thumbs. Come on. You can do better than this. Yeah, I know. But it would appear not today. Perfect. Great. So I just want to leave. Oh, come on. <gasps> Dear me. I just want to leave some ends up. That still hasn't cut through. My goodness. Let's put the needle down and get on better. There we are. Right. So I'm going to put that one there. If anybody's still with me at this stage, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because this has been a bit of a trauma, this one, hasn't it? A little bit. Right, so down one, up to the, I can take my needle off now, I think, tie my knots in, my knot, should I say, and then get those stuck down. Just everything is just really annoying. Annoyances occurring today. Anyway, there we are. We've got two buttons. I think they can go there like that. And I really quite like them. Fabulous. Okay, so. They can live to fight another day, asking that little white one there. <clears throat> These need to get stuck down. Before I do that, I'm going to put the, my little lace topper in here. So where's the centre? Ah, that's one, two and a half, so one and a quarter is the centre, which is there. And I'm going to get my, oh, I thought it was there. Yeah, this one. This is a, um, it's a lanyard punch. It's kind of oval, which is great for when you are putting. I can't find that mark I made. Why am I not surprised? Oh, there it is. There it is. I think that's fairly central. It ain't straight, but was anybody really expecting it to be? <laughs> In all honesty, no, no, no. And I'm just going to use this fine black lace for my topper. Do I need two bits or is that enough? I think I probably need two bits actually. It's a bit thin. I don't think I need them that long either. There we go. Let's thread these through. Just 
just just use my tweezers to push them on through. Get these some way straightened out. That'll be fine, I think. Then I get my tiny Timmy attacher, <coughs> which is where here. just put a couple of staples in there. Oh, don't know where that went. Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's still... Oh, what's wrong with you now, honestly? Oh, no, you're not out of staples. Ah, oh, there's a twisted one. That's it. It's come out now. There was a twisted one. Right. Let's try that again. Oh, my goodness me. I'll put one there. No. Don't want a staple. OK. I have to go and see Mr F. Right. Mr F has, of course, fixed it. Oh, and I did decide... That I like the buttons down this corner better. <laughs> so something came out of that. So let's just put some staples through here. One. And two. Perfect, that's great. Thank you, Tiny Attacher, for finally working. And then I'm going to stick these on, and Bob is then your uncle. Um, I'm just going to use Collar because I know it works. And I can't get the lid off my um, distress collage medium. So there we go. My goodness me. Was it worth it? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I kind of think it was, actually. I really like it. And I think if you had all your supplies to the ready... Um, I, th I think you could knock that out relatively quickly. And I've just made a gigantic meal, feast, banquet out of it. But I like the finished project, pr product and that really is what it's all about. So once again, those of you that have stuck with me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate your company and that I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, looks nice. And that'll go in our box when it's dry. So I'll see you very soon when we'll be doing the next project. Thanks, guys. You take care now and remember, above all, be kind. Bye.